Over the past decade, artificial intelligence has impacted most industries, including healthcare. The Netherlands has a growing number of AI startups with big ambitions to change the way healthcare is delivered and optimized. There are many barriers to adoption, making it harder for companies to grow. The Netherlands is at risk of losing high potential startups to other markets. TechLeap spoke with leading health tech entrepreneurs across the country to hear their side of the story. So my name is Dries Budding. I'm CEO of Imbiome, and within Imbiome, we've developed a complete new approach to infectious disease diagnostics, to analyze bacteria really fast, and by linking those results to really cutting edge AI algorithms, we can diagnose any infectious disease within hours now. My name is Mark-Jan Harte. I am the CEO of Aidens. Aidens is a Dutch software company that creates AI software to um, help radiologists in the early detection of lung cancer. And this is very important because if lung cancer is detected in an early stage, there is a much higher chance for these patients to actually be cured. So at Terona we make medical image analysis software, which means for people with lung diseases and eye diseases, if they take an image in the hospital, our software can analyze the image quickly, detect diseases that doctors might miss, or personalize your treatment plans. It really improves healthcare and also saves time for doctors. At Happy Tech, we monitor your health using your smartphone and we provide it at a medical grade accuracy. We monitor things like heart rate, heart rate variability, and heart rhythm disorders. Getting grants to uh, attracting funding, but that step is really big, and a lot of people in, within academia don't really know how to take that step. So in academia, it's a bit like, oh, you've become commercial, and there's a negative vibe to that. And I think that is really damaging because there's not the mentality, but also there's not uh, the support. So uh, hospitals don't support that. It's frowned upon in a way. And uh, there's like, you have these technology transfer offices kind of situation, but they're not that helpful in practice. What I have seen in our journey is that there's quite a good support in the ecosystem for starting a company and finding the right people and, and creating an innovation, but actually deploying that at scale requires funding from a system level, and that is often lacking. So one of the things that I noticed in the TechLeap AI report is the mention of the difficulty of accessing data. And this is something that we have encountered ourselves as well. You have to realize is that we are deploying our software in Dutch hospitals, but it's, it contains only American training data. So we have spent years in trying to get access to data from Dutch hospitals. Uh, we have been unsuccessful so far. So it's mind-blowing to me is that the, the software is being deployed in Europe. We want to compete with, it, with Americans and China, but we can't use any European data. We, have to, we are reliant on American data. That has to change. If that data set had not existed, there would have been no agents. Yeah. So, so we are dependent on, on American data to, 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 to get us going. So the TechLeap report for me was really everything rang. I think very important in the data, hospitals uh, ha having funding to try out uh, your AI. But for me personally, very important was all the medical device regulations and all the startup companies going through this. It feels that every startup in the Netherlands has to start again, building a quality system, finding out what the regulations are, how do you adhere to those, what does it mean for AI. I think we as existing companies, TechLeap, uh, politics next to money for startups if we really could facilitate this with examples uh, a roadmap on how to do these things we could really take away a roadblock for medical AI companies. One of the most important building blocks of any digital technology is data and having access to setting up clinical studies in a fast way getting large data sets of different patient populations to prove that your technology is accurate and safe is one of the biggest challenges. Because in the Netherlands, the good thing, we have a lot of rules. You know, we need to adhere to many things like the privacy, security, all the different things we need to check off, which is very important. But at the same time, it creates a huge barrier for us to conduct clinical studies. The Dutch ecosystem would benefit most if Dutch hospitals were given sufficient resources to seriously study technologies at a faster pace. We need a lot of serious resources 
dedicated to running large studies, generating evidence for uh, health tech companies so they can show their efficacy and safety. As of now, we cannot compete with other countries. Access to health data, regulatory hurdles and the slow pace of implementation are just some of the pain points faced by entrepreneurs. It's clear we need more cooperation, decisiveness and action from all stakeholders. To find out more, download the TechLeap AI report at techleap.nl.